like the title says. Okay, today is going to be a summer accessories haul. Hey fashionistas, welcome. I'm Chi Chi if you're new, not new here. Hey girl, hey, welcome to the new kids and let them know how we treat family around here. Speaking of here, here we're all about celebrating style, self-expression and fabulous fashion okay i can't remember the last time i made one of these videos so y'all asked so i'm making it for you <laughs> and yes if you came from the collective hall drop a green emoji in the comments down below if you haven't seen that when you're done with this one you definitely want to check out that video okay when i tell you if there's any time that your accessories matter it's gonna be the summertime and i found some gems that'll help you elevate okay and add a little spice a little sauce to your summer outfit so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end so you don't miss any of the gems uh oh before i get before i get into the video y'all are always asking me about my lip products and today the lip of the day is going to be this oil by clarins okay let me come a little closer okay the bottle is giving summer and I really like it. It's a lip oil and honestly, this is the first lip oil that I've ever tried that actually is an actual, like feels like an actual oil. It's ultra hydrating, but it adds a good amount of shine. And my favorite part about it is that it doesn't leave that white residue that a lot of lip products uh, leave, okay? They kindly sent me this in PR. It comes in a lot of juicy, other juicy colors and I have been loving this. And yes, it looks like it smells, if that makes any sense, or it smells like it looks. Now, let's get into the video. So I've got some jewelry, I've got some footwear for you guys, and just additional like accessories like hats, scarves, all that good stuff. So you know what? I don't know where I want to start though. Let's start with sunglasses. Now I am a aviator sunglass girl through and through. Maybe it's because I have like a rounder, larger face. So I find that aviators are typically cut unisex, which means they're cut a little bit larger. Not all the time, some of the time. And so I'm always on the lookout for some good options. And I found some great designer options at Tom Ford, but I already know not not every time we want to spend Tom Ford coin, okay? So when I saw these sunglasses pop up, I don't know if I saw them on somebody on IG or I just like, they were suggested to me on Amazon, but I was like, yep, add to cart. And guess what? It came in a two pair. I believe I paid either $14.99 or $17.99 for the two pair. Now, the first pair is gonna be this cheddar shell with a little bit of a gradient lens. And if you look on the side, it's giving Tom Ford energy, okay? With a little T, all right, on the side. Anybody else? <laughs> I was like, oh, I see what y'all are doing there. And then it also comes with a black lens which I have been on the hunt for a black lens, okay? I had like a pair that I absolutely loved years ago and I don't know what happened to it. Now this is basically a simple clear lens and one of the hacks that I always do when I don't wanna wear makeup or just don't wanna spend a lot of time on my makeup is I'ma throw a pair of sunglasses on. Or I'ma put a, throw a pair of readers on. I'ma throw a pair of like style glasses on is what I call them. They're not prescription, they ain't nothing, but I just throw them on, especially like on Sundays for church, I, I just, Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to wear makeup. So I'll throw one of these on and it kind of helps to complete the look, especially during the summertime when you really can't do layers or, you know, jackets or anything. I feel like it just adds a funky edge to the look. Love it, love that it's actually big enough for my face. Okay, because the struggle be real. Like I love me those Eliza J sunglasses that all the girls have been talking about. I think I saw Face Over Matter with that, uh, with them on. I've seen a bunch of girls with them on, but I know for a fact they will be too small small for my face. So if you like that look and you got a round face, okay, like me, definitely do not sleep on this, especially two for the price of basically one. Yes. Now quality wise, I'll give it like a six and a half, seven out of 10. So I'm just letting you know, you always get what you pay for. But honestly, it was worth it because every time I pull out like my designer sunglasses, I'm always like worried I'm gonna leave them somewhere, I'm gonna drop them somewhere. And I, yes, I, I believe I lost a pair of designer sunglasses. So. <laughs> This will give me that look. If it gets lost, it gets lost. It's, it was only less than $10 really. Now continuing on with another thing I picked up from Amazon is gonna be this crochet hat. 
Y'all, I've been really into bucket hats lately and I saw this crochet hat and I immediately fell in love. It's two-sided apparently, but the way my head is set up, only the crochet side actually fits comfortably on my head. Don't ask me, I don't know. Um, So I always wear the crochet side and I love uh, the idea of the crochet um hat to pair like when you want to go to like a pool party or even like to dress just to add a little flair to like a basic outfit i just love that it's giving me 90s vibe but then the crochet adds a little bit of a boho vibe and honestly simple accessories really make such a huge impact okay during the summertime with your style and this is a perfect example of one. Throw this on, throw on a pair of shades with your tank top and some shorts and you look like you actually put in some effort in your outfit. And that's a 10 over 10 for me, okay? And then I also picked up this woven crochet hat. And I don't know if I shared this hat already here. I feel like I may have, I don't know, but I'm sure this, I'm sharing these accessories with my big head girls. Okay, my girls with big heads and big faces, like they don't, they never, they don't, they never think about us. So I'm doing this for us, okay? Um, this hat goes up to a size extra, extra large, I believe. And I grabbed it and it fits great. Okay, if you've seen my best and worst purchase videos, y'all, this one, actually fit my head and I love it because I don't know like it's not the usual like woven hat style that you see everywhere which is usually like the big wide brim style I love that this adds a, a, a cool sort of like kitsch edge with the shape. I paired it with my stripe two-piece matching set and a swimsuit for like a pool look. But you could also throw it on when you're just wearing like an easy summer dress as well to go to a brunch or walk around the city or like you know to the beach like it, it, it's not defined okay and it also comes in black as well which i think is may, might be a little bit more versatile they also have this hat that i've been heavily contemplating getting in black it also goes up to a size extra extra large so if you have big head says it will fit and i love these hats because they also fit when i have on weave when i have my wigs on and when i don't so that's a plus now, as soon as I saw these sandals, I fell in love. I don't know what happened. I added them to my cart. I got busy. I forgot about them. Went back to my cart a couple of days later and it was sold out. And I was like, oh. You know when when you when you scream because it's sold out. Well, shout out to H and M because their actual email notifications work. So I got email notification that it came back in stock. And the way I ran to order these, I ran because these look exactly like some high end dad sandals. I don't know if they're the Dior's or Chanel's, but they look exactly like them for a fraction of the price. I love the woven raffia texture. Let me just tell you anything in that woven raffia, it's gonna look, give resort, it's gonna look elevated, it's gonna look just, it's gonna take your look up a notch. And so I had to have these, order them in a size 11. They came and y'all, I'm hurt. I'm hurt because they're not white foot friendly. They're not, they're not white foot friendly. I put them on and I just knew they are raised on the sides and the inner part of my foot, that thing was just poking me. And I was like, oh my God, if I keep this, I am not gonna wear it. I know I'm not. So sadly, I had to return this. Now, if you are lucky and happen to be a small footed baddie unlike me who wears a size 11, you can have these shoes, just size up. Just size up because it has like the Velcro straps there, it's adjustable. So you can adjust the back, you can adjust the front, like, so you don't have to worry, you could just size up. If they had a 12, the way I would have sized up in this, but they did not. So I've decided, hmm, to take the L. But I wanted to share with you guys, cause they're so cute. They're so good. Like H&M sometimes they do their big one with design. And like to think that someone else is charging hundreds and hundreds more for the same style and they do it for under 50 bucks. Anyways, I just had to share that um, with you guys. Because those do not fit, I decided to grab these buckle sandals. Zara has a pair very similar, has pairs very similar to this. But as per usual, I don't even try with Zara shoes. They're always too narrow for my foot. So I went on, I did some deep searches. I was trying to get a pair from ASOS, um, from the Topshop range, but they had sold out in the wide width. And I just feel like this specific style that's super chunky, it just makes sense to get the wide width style, the wide width if you have wide feet. Because they, for whatever reason, they're just cut a little bit more narrow from what I've noticed. So they didn't have it. So I went ahead and guess who saved the day? Amazon did. 
Amazon. They saved the day. I already have tried this brand from Amazon. They make a lot of good dupes. Like they have like dupes for Birkenstocks, for the clogs, and now they have these styles and dupes and their shoes are really comfortable. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add to cart. I don't know if I got this in a size 11 or 12, but I definitely grabbed it. I'm super excited about it. Now, do I prefer the 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 H&M ones? Yes, I do because they're Velcro. They're Velcro, so you know you don't have to be struggling with any buckles. Is it me or is it like I remember when we were little, my mom used to always make us put on her shoes for her, like put on her buckles for her. And I'm like, why can't this lady do it herself, child? The older I get, the more I'm like, oh my god, who gonna help me put on these shoes? <laughs> now I understand. Now I understand. So yes, if I had to choose between the two, I would get the H&M ones, just FYI. But if you're like me and you're part of the wide foot committee, okay, well, I got an option for us. Speaking of options for us, I also grabbed these ballet flats. Now if y'all watched the Summer Trends video, we already went back and forth about these trends. Some of y'all like are for it, some of them are against it. Like for example, you know, the Chinese slippers from beauty supply stores apparently are back. Some people are trying to sell them for hundreds of dollars. I'm like, did y'all have amnesia? Like these were like $2.99 when I was growing up. Why are we trying to sell these for $98? Anyways, they can finesse the Gen Zers, okay? Cause ain't no way I'm paying $98 for some Chinese slippers. On the flip side, I really love the whole mesh ballet flat trend, which is not too far removed. And the team at Steve Madden was kind enough to send me these. They are giving me very much the Alea vibes, okay? They're much closer to that style um, than for example, the, the Target ones that I also have. And so I was able to uh, grab them. I love the fact that they have rhinestones so if you love like loud kitsch maximalist styles you will love this i did get this in a size 12. if you have white feet definitely size up i always size up to a 12 in steve madden because i find their shoes to run narrow so definitely size up in these they're super cute the sparkles i wore them um to church with a like black midi skirt and i just thought i was just feeling myself okay i was feeling myself okay so I thought I would share them for you like I always get comments from you guys where you want me to share flats that are cute and not boring well there you go don't say I never shared any flats <laughs> I also was looking for some leather just easy brown slides that I can pair with a lot of different things and bing H&M came through with these they are 100% leather and they are under $50 I believe you can't beat that with the stick okay they're not on sale they're not on clearance it's not one left in the store at least as of last check um, so I thought I would show these I got these in a size 11 when I first put my foot in them they were a little snug but because they're leather by the time I wore them for the day it was perfectly molded to my feet and I love the fact that they're unassuming now I want to invest in a nice like designer leather pair but I a size 11 so I have to literally I have to go in store and try on the slides because size 42 European cut it really depends on the brand from what I find they are cut narrow so I need to go and try them on myself to see how they fit and if they're comfortable before I drop all that kind of coins so until then I was looking for a nice good quality non logo like nude basically pair of slides and if you're looking for one this is something I would consider a capsule piece then H&M got you it's under $50 you can't beat it with a stick and super comfortable I'll link it for you down below now let's get into bags I know, I know, I know, I know. So if you're a bad girl like me, hit the like button. <laughs> if you made it thus far and you are enjoying the video and I put you on to some jam sis, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. I'm putting y'all on over here, okay? All right, let me stop. I, you know, I popped my head into the restroom rack to return some stuff and I came out with more stuff. Wait, did I go to return stuff or to go? I can't remember why I went there, but I went to Nordstrom rack and I picked up, I saw this green 
green bag. Now, I actually need your help with this one because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or return this. I have a lot of gym gear that is like green for some random reason. So I was like, oh, this would be cute for like my gym fits, you know, so I can be cute or whatever. Ignore that. But now I'm just like, am I gonna wear this enough? It's also suede, by the way. And it's, what really made me buy it is, was because it's from Free People and it's 50% off. And I've been wanting one of these Free People suede bags. But I'm just like, am I going to wear this enough? I'm not sure. But the color is so gorgeous. Like, when's the last time you saw a neon or like, it's not a neon, it's more like a Citron colored suede bag. So I'm just like having all these thoughts in my mind, you know? Obviously it has multiple pockets, it can fit all the stuff. The straps are kind of like interchangeable so you can wear it like across the body if you like it. You can wear it as a backpack. Like I love all that versatility, but I'm still not sure if I want to keep it. But it's also in my color of the summer. If you haven't seen the collective haul video, check it out, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just like, I'm trying to figure out I'm, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now I did also pick up this circle bag. It's a hobo bag. Big bags are back in style. I loved how structured this was, even though it's a circle bag. It was also, it's by Vince Camuto. It's real leather. You know me, I always say, if you can buy real leather, buy real leather. It wears better, it lasts longer, it's worth it. So, and it was like 50% off. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and, 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 and take this with me. I'm right, and I'm already styling it with so many different things. So I feel like it's a good buy. You know, it's a good buy. And if you missed my collective haul, I'm just gonna mention this bag in here as an honorable mention, and that is my Fotega. Okay, so I picked up this inspired oversized Jody style bag. I was actually able to grab this one from TJ Maxx. Love the quality of it, even though it's not real leather. I feel like it's a good quality woven leather and um, I love the fact that it has a lot of pockets on the inside for you to put all your things. I'm still getting used to having bigger bags. Uh, I definitely am. I'm, I'm getting used to that. <laughs> and so I've learned to be able to like only walk out with my keys, my gloss, you know, maybe like some blotting powder, um, but I could throw a fan in there now. So you know, it has its pros and its cons, but I thought I would mention it because it is a fraction of the price for the real Jody. So if you're interested in it I checked online and they actually you can buy it online from Marshalls or is it TJ Maxx I'm gonna link it for y'all if you guys are interested let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite accessory in this haul and until next time <laughs> I totally had a room freeze stay blessed stay fabulous and remember your curves are your crowns